Hello? Checking, checking. We are live on Facebook. Let's give them I think we're live. Okay, we're live. Sandali. Tulog pa ang malu. Bigyan natin siya ng konting oras. <laughs> Screen sharing. Hindi. Hindi yan. Application window. There you go. Sana si Jane. Live na ba? Yes, we're live. Ooh, we're live. May lumabas ba? Parang wala. <laughs> wow, ganda. <laughs> Parang... Parang palpak. Wala, walang walang na-share. <laughs> Meron! Meron ba? Meron! Oo. Meron? Walang share. lumalabas. Uh -uh. Hindi niya lang nakita. Ako nakita. <laughs> Ay, ganun. Ay, ganun. Ako na. Nakita But we are live. Siya. Yes, we're live! Ah, okay. Um... Oh, wow. Uh, hello everybody, bagong gising. Kagigising ko lang po, wala pang isang minuto. Walk up like this. <laughs> Walk up like this ang peg niya. Uh, uh, today is that day of the week where we gather a bunch of people to chill, however, chat, however, and talk about anything that revolves around the lives of a freelancer. This is Phoenix. I'm your co-host, Anna Soriano. <laughs> and this is Flip Chat and Chill. Uh, today, what is yes. our topic for today, Anna? When is the best time to dive into freelancing? When is the best time to dive into freelancing? Do we have audiences now? I think, yes. Medyo konti pa lang coming in pa lang, pero gigreet natin muna yung mga audiences and statins. Hi, Lilet. Hello. Lea, um, Eunice, Pakolod, Ayan. Uh, si Jerry, hello from Makati. Si Karen, hi everyone. Elmer from UAE. Um, si Cho, Chang, Chang Nomar, meron po. Meron daw. <laughs> so, Bong Esleta, hello Bong. May na-share naman daw. Oh. Si Apple, hi everyone. Si Bill, um, newbie here daw. Hello sa lahat. And si Daisy, hi. Hi Daisy, ay nanonood si Daisy kasi nandito si Jeff. Ay, teka, add ko na si Jeff. <laughs> Ayun. Hi, bud. Jane. Uy, may mas late sa akin. Hoy, hindi. Hindi siya late. Kanina pa siya nandito. Ay. <laughs> Nawala lang siya. <laughs> Now, um, it's my first time to meet the panel, ladies and gentlemen. Kaya ang mag introduce sa kanila si Anna. Yes. Yes. Ang mga guests natin for today ay mga VA Bootcamp student at saka, ano, um, one of, um, mga admin sa ano na sa Rab kasama sa Rab team. So please welcome mm -hmm. Rolling Kanyete. Mag-hi ka muna Hello. Rolling. Hello everyone. Hello. Actually nag-guest na siya Phoenix, wala ka pala. Akala nga namin mawawala ka sa kung hindi bakit tayo mag-attend ni Phoenix kung nandito ka. Akala ko wala ka ulit eh. Nag-guest na yun previously, pero wala ka. Binunchan mo kami. Okay. Yes. Ayan. So, oh, that time. Bakit nawala si Jeff? Uh, si, ano, si Jeff? Uh, si Jeff naman, uh, VI Bootcamp student din. Hello. Nag-guess ko na rin siya Hi, sa JC. Jeff. And si Jane. Hi, Sir Phoenix. Si Jane also. Ay, nawala ulit si Jane. May problema yata in Jane. Jane ano? Nawawala-wala yung kanyang net. So, yan. Sino sa kanila ang bab, ang bab ano? Si Roland uh, and si Jay. I know, not moderator. Kasama sa bab team, sa admin. 
Ah, uh, admin. I see. Yes. I see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, pasensya na po kung inuubo ako kasi talagang ginulat ako ni Ana eh. Pare, ginising ako ng, ano, ng mga three minutes before time. Oh, na-stress kita ginising. Baka sa time zone ni Phoenix sa Baguio. <laughs> ako ang VA okay. niya, tagagising. <laughs> May ano may nabanggit kanina, may nabanggit ka kanina ano na ano. Na, oh. Sino may ingay di ako? It's not me. Sino sa inyo ang ano? Ang Sino sa inyo may ingay? <laughs> may ingay. Teka, teka. Magmute ako. Yan eh. Nisip ko kung baka ako yun eh. <laughs> Sige nga. Uh, Hindi rin kay Jack. Hero din din ako. Hindi siya. Sa sino? Sino? Ako ba? Oo, oh, oh, si Miss A. Oo oh, nga. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> si Miss A yun. <laughs> Kay Miss A yun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, habang pinapin, um, ano kasi papatayin ni Ana yung mga maingay na yun. So, <laughs> may, may nabanggit kanina na tiga UAE, may, 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 may audiences tayo na tiga UAE. And yes. I just noticed yesterday, nung tumitingin din ako, kasi nakiki-apply na rin ako sa, sa Upwork, kunwari. Ano, nung tumitingin ako, napansin ko ang daming mga, ano, mga offers from UAE mismo. Ang dami mga job offers and um, ang pumasok sa kokote ko kagabi is ang dami mga Pinoy na nasa UAE but kaya hindi nila na susunggaban itong mga work, itong mga online jobs na ito. Kasi ang dami. As, uh, uh, parang ano eh, halos 40% from UAE eh. Ang nakikita ko ka, kahapon lang. Oh. Nagkataon lang Ma- siguro. Marami din kami students marami. na nandun, di ba? Tama, Rolly. Marami rin kami students from UAE, di ba? Marami-rami din po from UAE. Mm-hmm. Ito, napansin ko kung, kung maraming mga nasa UAE, if they if they happen to know the language, then it would be very advantageous for them kung manilip sila sa Upwork at makikita naman nila na, na maraming mga offers. Now, since the topic for today is when is the best time to dive into freelancing? Ito na, at least na nalaman ko kahapon, but I'm wondering, bakit ito ang topic natin ngayon, Ana? Bakit? Ito ang ating topic. Um, recently, na, na-interview ko lang din si, ano, si Chef about dun sa, ano, niya, sa, sa story niya, na na-share niya na before diving in sa freelancing, nasa corporate pa siya. So, um, and marami lately din na, ano, na nag-PPM sa akin na, um, kailan nga ba um, dapat mag, mag-resign? kapag ka uh, ano kapag uh, gusto na talagang mag freelancing pwede bang pagsabayan pwede bang mag-resign right away or ano ba yung mga pwede nilang option so yun ito yung naisip nating topic na i-discuss for today mm, uh, now i understand now i understand bale uh, this is really relatable to all of to almost all of you ladies and gentlemen kasi marami sa inyo ang may trabaho din eh sa outside internet offline na trabaho and sometimes ang misconception kasi yung papasok ka sa freelancing you have to enter enter and work on it full time yung iba akala nila kailangan i-sacrifice nila yung yung offline work nila yung iba naman nagtataka sila kung kailan sila magtra-transition so if you have if you have any comments about that, if you have any questions about that, please write down on the comment section below. Don't be afraid to titing na natin yan, kasi this is I think this is a very sensitive topic. All right, so kung ganon na ano na galing kay Jeff ito, Jeff, uh, tell us your story. What is the struggle between um, moving into freelancing from corporate? For corporate, ah, uh, yun muna eh. Um, Yung pinaka-struggle ko nung una is you more on sa time talaga. Kasi more or less kinakain talaga ng corporate world mo yung time mo to do the stuff na alam mo yun, gusto mong gawin as a freelancer. Tapos may mga minsan na hindi unexpected na hindi mo nasan like traffic, ang tagal mo bago makauwi. Tapos... Uh, meron din yung tibang internet connection, wala kang wifi kasi you're on the go, nandun ka sa office, ganyan. 
So, nasa bahay yung comfort zone mo for as a freelancer. So, napaka-struggle talaga sa akin yung time. Time management is so hard kapag ka ganun. In transition. Paano ano? Um, paano maging struggle ang time management when you are, in fact, already managing your time as a corporate worker? Kasi di ba sa corporate, you already know that you have to work starting at 8 o'clock and then you will finish work at 5 o'clock. So you have to wake up at 5 a.m. para makahanda-handa ka and you have to take the bus at 6 a.m. Parang ganun. So um, actually, parang may na-manage mo na ang time mo dun sa, sa, dun sa situation na yun. So why is it even a, more a struggle kapag gusto mong pumasok sa freelancing? Ayun. Um, on, sa mga expectations, like kapag kaini-expect ka niyang mag-time in the uh, uh, work within that corporate hours. So, parang ang hirap talaga <coughs> manage. That's for... Mm. I parang see. mahirap okay. kasi siguro feelings kapag ka nag-work at sasabay yun si freelancing. Kasi parang like kung may due date, di ba? Parang kung ang gusto ng client ay maaga-aga and may corporate ka, parang mahirapan din siguro si Jeff sa ganun ano. Tama okay, ba? Okay, okay. So yan yung ano, yan yung nakapasok ka na. You're, you're working part-time as a freelancer already. Yun, yun. Mahirap na ano, mahirap na i-juggle between your tasks and yung ano. It's it's juggling. That is the that is the challenge. Oh, okay. Um, and how were you able? Were you able to successfully deal with that, Jeff? Uh yes, yes. Sa ngayon, fix na yung schedule. Kung baka, parang more on ano na lang, more on dapat in line ka dun sa gusto ni client sa yo uh, more on magawa mo or matapos mo yung task mo on a given time frame hindi na siya yung tipo bang early parang fixed rate na siya so it's more ano na manageable yeah ah that's good congratulations chef buti na lang nakahanap ka ng ano uh, please tell us your story sometime especially dun sa dun sa page when if you have the time tell us your story para ano para may inspire naman ng ibang mga freelancers yan. I know that some uh, a lot of people read what we post on on our Facebook page. So please feel free to do so whenever you have time. Okay, Rolling. Oh, sure. What about you? What is what is the struggle between you know uh, freelancing and corporate? Well, um, I have a very different experience kasi because uh, when I fully dived into freelancing, uh, I already resigned from my, uh, no, from my corporate job. And um, mm. in my case, I have to, uh, no, pag, kailangan ko pagsabayin yung review and at the same time look for ways to earn money. So yun, uh, nag, nag-review ako for the board exam and then... Um, I also started to ano uh, to learn about freelancing and so yon uh mahirap mahirap yung transition from ano uh, na, and hin, mahirap pagsabayin talaga yung review and uh freelancing kailangan mo pag-aralan uh, ng dalawa yung pag-aaral mo for the review and pag-aaral mo ng freelancing so it's dif- uh, it's difficult for me so yon um when I found ways na para kung paano mag-earn online, um, hindi ako agad nakapagtrabaho. Uh, I started as an online English teacher and then yun, uh, after three months, dun pa ako nagkaroon ng client. Wow. Uh, at least it has been three months. Yung, yung iba nga, isang taon eh. Taon. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yung iba nga, umaabot ng taon eh. Well, congratulations. At least you were able to... Uh, ano, so what is... Give me one word para uh, give me one word na masasabi what, what what solution have you found para mabalance mo yung ano yung time mo between your review and freelancing uh, I think one word would be discipline ah, 
Okay. Ma, ang hirap niyan, ha? <laughs> ang hirap. <laughs> Every, I think that is everybody's struggle, discipline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lalo na ako. Pagigising ko lang. <laughs> Alam mo, nakita ko si, nakita ko si Anna. Eh. Discipline. Wala po nang kakarito. Alam ko yan. Alam ko yan. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jane? Uh, oh, thank you very much, Roland, for sharing your story. What about you, Jane? Um, what is the, tr- the struggle between uh, freelancing and corporate? Para sa well, sa akin, kay, sa akin naman, um, ang mas mahirap pa doon was I was juggling yung part-time freelance, this corporate, and then may anak ka. So, mas mahirap yun for me kasi yung balancing um sa work during sa, na pag nasa office ako pag free time doon ako nakaka-browse ng mga jobs online and then saka ko lang siya i-i-save then sa bahay ko siya ita-try mag-apply so ganun pero pagdating mo sa house nandiyan yung anak mo merong tendency na uh, bawa ako or lang yung laptop ko mga agaw siya ganun tas ako Ma, hindi na magagawa yung pag-apply na yun. So, kung yung iba may one year na nag-struggle na pagsabayan yung freelancing and and corporate, ako medyo two years ako nag-struggle. Pinagsabay ko ulit siya. Although, during those two weeks, working, kasi sa freelancing, masyado na, 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 na career, Kasi nga, due to the work sa corporate. Pero, after two years na, na, na decided ko na na I, I need to let go of one. I need to push freelancing na. Kasi nga, for, for my son did. Kasi mag- so, I need to let go of one. You know, freelancing. Wow, that's uh that's very nice. Matanong ko nga sa inyong tatlo, what is when was that uh critical moment when you finally decide na ano na that pa, pasukin ko na talaga itong freelancing na ito, whether or not. Parang kasi uh, Jeff has a different situation from Roland. Roland has a different situation from Jane. But when was that time when you decided na sige, pasukin ko na to. Let's start with uh, kasi, Jeff. PJ. Oh, <laughs> the yung iba magre-resign na ako. Or even if uh, si I think si si Jeff nasa ano siya eh. Na, she, he, he's still in yeah, he's still in corporate. So when was that when did you have this aha talagang okay kaya ko to pasukin ko na ang freelancing despite despite na may trabaho ako so when was that time uh, that time was to go go si Jen naglalag lang si Jen No. For me, for me, okay, na. Okay, sige, sige. Um, uh, sa akin kasi dumating yung time yung nakulang na din talaga yung binibigay ni corporate world sa akin as uh, for financial ganyan and talagang kailangan ko kumayod for extra income mm-hmm. and, and mas malak No oh wow okay uh may may problema itong especially si Jane at saka si ano eh, si oh, oh. si Jeff eh. what about you Jane 
Kasi naghanda ka na ng sagot mo kanina. Well, um, when was that Eureka moment? Nagtalag sila ng dalawa. <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, uh, guys, can you check your ano? Yeah, can it, It's okay, it's okay. Can you check na lang yung yung connection din niya. Okay, Jeff, um go on. Um you, you said you okay lang um ano daw bitin sa finances. That's what I understood. And so when was that moment na okay, talagang kailangan pasukin ko na to. When was that eureka moment that you have? When was it? Ayun eh, yung, ayun nga, yung uh, um, binigyan ako ng mas malaking early rate ni client kaysa dun sa early rate ko sa office. So, parang sabi ko, ah, it will work for, work for me. So, hindi ako na talaga yung free pricing. Very nice. At least, ano, um, uh, maganda yung ganyan kasi na nakita mo na mas mas may makukuha ka pa sa ano eh sa sa freelancing kasi nagtataka ako oh, oh, bakit ba ganyan ba talaga bitin ba talaga ang sahod sa ano sa corporate Jeff Okay <laughs> uh, Roland, what about you? Um, when 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 is that? Ano? Ana, uh, ladies and gentlemen, tumango si ano si Jeff. May lag pero tumango si <laughs> Jeff. Action. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then sabi ko ba bitin ba talaga? Gaano ka bitin ang ano? Ah, na nawala na naman si ano. <laughs> Jeff. Okay, Roland. Ano? Uh, w- when was uh, that moment na ano na sabi mo? Kela, uh, despite na mahirap ang mag-review. Uh, bakit mo ano uh, pinasok talaga ang freelancing? Ayun. Um uh, that time, 'di ba, pinagsabay ko yung review and uh, freelancing. So, unfortunately, I did not make it. Uh, hindi ako nakapasa sa board exam. 'Yun. Uh, mm. so uh, kasi hindi kinaya ng body clock ko, uh, I had to mm. adjust from ano, yung corporate job ko kasi before is I uh, sa call center. So, I uh graveyard so i struggled my body clock struggled so uh hindi kinaya and kulang yung preparation ko din for the board exam so i failed and then uh that moment na uh, nagfail ako sa board exam that was my aha moment na uh, i have to do something i have to really earn uh money para makapag uh uh, para makapag-start ulit kasi I have zero savings na that time. So, I have to find mm. ways na makapag-earn agad. And naisip ko na bumalik sa corporate but uh, uh, hindi ko, parang naisip ko na hindi ko na siguro kakayanin ulit mag-graveyard ulit. Parang ganun. So, um, I also tried to find uh, other jobs like sa bank but uh, Na, ano ko din, yung finances din, ang liit compared to what I, uh, sa, sa call center na, na, na salary. So, um, yun, uh, nag-isip ako, so, yun, ang best option talaga for me is to, ano, to start freelancing. So, yun yung, ano, yung naging motivation ko talaga is the, the, the pay na makukuha ko from, uh, for, starting freelancing you i love that i love that yeah. you still you still tried to look yes. for jobs like you still considered kasi kung totoo said you already have the experience so you can just easily go back to um working corporate you can yes. or you can find other jobs i i love that you tried to look for other options pero uh still unfortunately talagang wala hindi, hindi maganda ang mga situation it's either the pay is not good enough or the work the working hours isn't that good for you so yes. yeah congratulations that is that is a very nice um ano uh, parang epiphany moment mo that it is very yes. good i love that and what about you jane oh kumusta lang connection mo are you good <laughs> oh, sorry no okay, na ako sa desktop it's okay. It happens. It happens. Lahat tayo, lahat tayo may ganyan. So let me let me ask you, 
But when was that moment na nasabi mong, okay, ito na talaga, papasok na ako sa freelancing? Okay. So, this was last year. So, two years ako nagko-contemplate na pumasok sa freelancing. So, kasi ano, hindi ko kaya na sumugod agad sa freelancing nang wala pa akong nakikitang work. As advice, bali the blogs and the people na ka, sa group natin na, you have to you have to ano back up ka mag back up ka kailangan may, meron ka muna ng work before you you resign so that's what i did so may may last year nagkaroon ng invite and then i took the chance na baka malay mo matanggap lang ako and then ultimately that uh, ano naman natanggap naman nga ako so that's when i decided to submit my resignation letter and then rendered one month so july uh so july full-time freelancer na ako that uh, last year so yun yung naging parang eureka moment ko rin na buto na lang binigyan ako ng chance or binigyan ako ng sign na kailangan mo na rin i-push to i-push tong freelancing na to kasi kung two years two years ko na siyang iniisip tapos hindi ako makapagsimula dahil sa Iniisip ko yung yung trabaho, yung parang the double job ka sa, sa araw, then sa gabi. Parang ma- nakakapagod siya. So, sabi ko, I have to choose talaga kung ano yung mas gusto kong gawin. So, nung nabigyan ako ng chance, nabigyan ako ng work, nag, nag-submit ako agad ng, ng resignation letter ko. And that's how I felt na ito yung time, ito yung best time to do this. So, hindi ko na pinalagpas. Hindi ko na siya pinalagpas. So, ito, ngayon, okay na, mag year na ako. So, happily working pa rin. So, so far, clients are still there. My first client, I'm still working with my first client. So, so, masaya pa rin. <laughs> Mag-celebrate next month ng, ng one year with them. Wow. Oh, congratulations, Jane. That, that's that's so nice. I, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, kung naintindihan niyo ang, <laughs> ang kwento ng mga ng mga panel natin, they are all from different situations. Ito si Jeff, for example, pinagsabay niya talaga. Pero ang the struggle is paano pagsabayin yung corporate and yung and yung freelancing. And he found ways. Ito si si Rollin naman kung uh it is a versus it is whether whether papasok siya sa ibang jobs offline jobs or uh, susugurin na talaga ang freelancing ito si Jane um it's Jane has the same situation as a lot of Filipinos out there overthinking imagine 2 years na, na nagantay before na sinabing okay papasok na talaga ako sa freelancing so i hope that all of you uh, many of you can relate to each and everyone's situation here kaya kayo naman kung meron kayong kwento wh- wh- when was your eureka moment kindly put it on the comment section down below ako, may, ikaw may ana ako, go ako, may ta- hindi tama bang sabihin na mas madali bang mag-dive into freelancing pag single ka Kasi parang wala kang iisipin na ibang susuportahan, di ba? Parang unlike kami, kami ni Jay, parang mas magtitink ko guys up. Halo ako nasa, nasa corporate ko na ako naging, naging freelancer. Mas iisipin ko din yata ang um, wag mo nang mag-resign like yung ginawa ni Jeff. Kung tama bang sabihin na mas madali para sa single? Na, na very good question, Anna. Kasi nung, nung kwilikwento ni Jeff ang situation niya, parang naisip ko na, so, mas manageable ba ang time kapag, mar- uh, kapag married ka? Kasi, de, ang sabi niya, it's the time, ang sabi kasi ni Jeff Kalina, it's the, the time management that is the struggle. And sabi ko naman, when you're working in a corporate uh, job, in a corporate world, you're supposed to be already managing your time because like i said you wake up at five o'clock you prepare yourself up until six and then you take the bus from six to eight go to work from eight to five and then from five o'clock dismiss ka. so you're just chopping down your time pero ano if you are married aren't you even more organized as a as a mom for example as a parent aren't you even more organized na alam mo naman kung anong oras talaga ang ang dapat sa ano sa pamilya mo and sa work mo the very good question uh jeff what do you think as a single ka ba uh, 
not yet in, uh, engaged. <laughs> Engaged, okay. Engaged well, okay. Since you're you're about to get married, <laughs> you're about to get married. What do you think? Mas okay, okay, ba ang ano? Okay, ba ang freelancing when you compare yourself yourself to the people you see, na mga de familia. How do you how do you see it? Is it easier to transition to freelancing as? from as a single person? Uh, for me, ano, uh, for me, sa ngayon, napakaluwag pa ng oras ko. Technically, kasi, una, hindi kayo ni Isto, ubo kapag ka nagtatrabaho ka, like, parang, hindi sila, yung tipo mo papasok sa pintuan, tapos, uh, walang umiiyak na bata, walang, kapag ka may interview, walang maingay sa paligid. Alam mo yun, you can still uh, have that luxury ng peaceful working mindset, kumbaga, na uh, wala kang inaalala. Kasi ang concept kasi minsan ng, madal, ng karamihan na pagka-freelancing ka, eh, sa bahay ka lang. You don't do anything na magkabaho or what, diba? Parang gano'n. So, ini-expect nila na anytime, pwede ka nilang istorbohin. Just like na parang nasa bahay ka. Pero, uh, what they don't understand is kapag freelancer ka, you're also working as in dapat focus ka to finish your job, di ba? So, sa ngayon, wala pa akong ganung dilemma. I still have the luxury of peaceful working. Uh, and in terms of time management, medyo mahirap lang din kasi yung sa akin pa sa, in my situation. Kasi pabago-bago yung working hours ko. I am working such that parang today mag-work ako 11 p.m. tomorrow mag 11 p.m. So, parang hindi sa balance. Uh, nagugulat din ako bakit ganun yung style. Pero that's how my, corpor- my corporate world works right now. Pero I still manage to work as a freelancer. Well, very nice. Very nice. And by the way, I wish you good luck for your future partnership. In addition to uh, your lifestyle right now, maraming changes for sure. Uh, if I were you, ask around para ano para hindi ka mabigla. <laughs> what about you, Rollin? Uh, what is your opinion with with this? Well, for me, um, sa so observe ko yes, I think mas madalik for uh, single na mag dive into freelancing agad. Kasi as I observe sa sister ko, um, she has uh, a job sa corporate na she can't let go because it has ano ka, yung stable na income. So and she's scared na if she'll dive into freelancing, um, yon ma parang she can't support na her ano her kids needs kung magde-dive in siya agad sa freelancing. So for me, uh it's easier uh, in terms of ano yung mga ganung factor sa financial and um yeah, but um siguro it's about ano din naman eh financial management and on how you handle things. Yan lang yung opinion. <laughs> No, very very nice, Rolin, which um brings out something that uh in isip ko na isasagot ko kay sa tanong ni Ana. Ang sa akin ano mas mahirap ang ano, mas, mah- mas mahirap ang pagiging single. Um let uh hear me out. When I was working in Korea sa factory, my dad was also there na nagtatrabaho rin. Eh nung hindi pa kami naging tandem parang hindi ang hirap i-manage kasi being single ang dami mo parang ang dami mong responsibilidad parang karga mo ang buong mong barkada ang buong mundo kumbaga so your time is definitely divided na uh, for your social life yung social life ang malaking kumakain sa ano sa oras mo however when when i uh, i worked in tandem with my with my dad Parang nag-usap kami na let's have a project and let's let's work together for this project. Nung nagdanon kami, hinaya hinayaan na ako ng mga barkada ko, hinayaan ako ng enterong the the whole Filipino community. Kasi parang nasa isip nila eh, ay hayaan mo yan kasi busy yan, may pinag-iipunan yan. So it was easier for me when I had a when I had a partner. It's the same now na nandito ako sa Pilipinas and I'm working in freelancing. When I had a when I had a partner, but it was easier because um we we have this goal eh 
we have this goal now, and I have this accountability partner. Yung partner ko is also an accountability partner. Na kapag liligo-ligo lang ako dyan, tatamad-tamad lang ako dyan, natutulog lang ako kung gusto ko, then I have to be accountable. Talagang says ko na ako ng partner ko na, iyan kasi, hindi na natin, hindi tuloy tayo nakaipon ng maigi ngayon. So, to me, when it comes to earning money or having this discipline, it is more difficult as a single person kasi parang wala kang, wala kang responsibilidad eh. I'm not accountable to anyone. As for my condition right now, kita nyo na, kagigising ko lang. So, kasi wala, wala eh. Parang walang nanggigising sa akin, walang nagsesermon sa akin. I don't have to answer to anybody. So, I am relaxed. Parang, so when it comes to earning money, dehado naman ako. Lugi na, ako naman itong magsasuffer. So, that's my opinion. Um, ikaw, Jane? As a parent, comparing to kung, na, kung freelancer ka nung, nung single ka, just imagine that you were also a freelancer when, when you were single. How would you compare your situation now and before? Hmm, iba eh. Iba kasi pag single kasi iba ang priorities talaga. So if I were single during those times na nag, nag, pumasok ko sa part-time freelancing, Siguro, mag-rubay na ako agad. Para ko yun yung magiging, siguro yun yung magiging decision ko if I was single that time. Kasi, yung yung time na yon na nagpa-part-time ako, I was really contemplating dahil nga sa, uh, sa stability ng finances, di ba? So, when you have a child, when you have a family, nandun yung takot mo na ano yung that kanin dadating naman sa yo so that's where that's where yung priorities ko talaga is nagfo so kaya tumagal na delay ng sobrang tagal yung pag pag dive in natin pag dive in ko dahil nga i was worried about the finances so pag wala akong wala akong client at nagresign ako mapipila yung yung household mapipila yung well i have my husband naman na nagsusupport pero syempre it's not enough na siya lang yung mag-work so you have to put in some contribution so that's where yung priorities talaga kung single ako the time pwede ako humiram sa um, sa family ko that's one pwede nakatira pa ako sa family ko so yung finances, medyo ano, maluwag. Medyo maluwag siya. Tama yung sinabi mo, Phoenix, na parang, parang hindi naman sa walang discipline, pero you you are free, you are not tied to anyone, just yourself. So kung magutom ka, okay lang, kasi you, have your, you still have your family. So doon ka pa rin nakatira, parang ganun. For me, that's for me. Kung kung single ako nga that time, yun yung magiging situation ko. I'll still be living with my parents. Tapos gamit ko internet nila, ganun. So, masaya yung single na freedom talaga. Tapos, we're tied to, to no one. Wala kang kid na paparalin, napapakainin, ganun. Wala kang babayarang rent. So, I think, feeling ko lang, mas mas free siguro freedom or siguro meron lang mas focus sa pag pag, pag married ka na you you have that direction you have that focus na sa family yun yung main goal mo kaya ka nagtatrabaho for them that's for them just not just for you parang ganun i love that i love that so eh, parang ibig sabihin eh kapag kapag may partner ka if you're family especially kapag may anak ka. Um, natatakot ka na sa mga risks. Unlike kapag single ka, I mean, sure, kapag single ka, like I said, wala kang accountability partner na um, you won't be held accountable kapag gugutumin mo ang sarili mo sa loob ng isang buwan. But if you have a partner, parang nakakatakot na, hindi lang ikaw eh, pati yung anak mo magugutom, yung asawa mo magugutom. So I guess that, uh, that, makes a bigger challenge that you are responsible with another person. So, are you satisfied with our answers, Anna? Oh, alam na. Satisfied na ba? <laughs> Kaya ako naman magsashare. Kung ako naman yung single, ako feeling ko, yung, yung, kung ako single na nandiscover ko sa freelancing, 
hindi ko siya masyadong i-entertain. Kasi ako naman yung tipong tao dati, nung single ako. So, kung saan ako comfortable or saan ako um, siguradong may kikitain, doon ako. Hindi ako mag-dive sa freelancing siguro nung, kung single ako. Kasi mas, ano ako, mas sigurista na ikinikita na ako dito. Ito, ma- parang mahirap pasukin. Like, Like, nung tinry ko talaga siyang pasukan itong um, three, uh, three years ago nung bago pa ako maging freelancer. Ah, four years ako siya, talagang nahirapan ako. Tapos, motivation naman ako na gusto ko talagang itry ito para sa mga bata na talagang maging freelancer at dito makapag-work na lang sa bahay at the same time nababagay nga yung mga, yung mga bata. Pero, ang hirap talaga, ang hirap talaga mag-start nung time na yon kasi wala pa rin masyadong community noon nung time na four years ago na mm-hmm. nagtatry ako. Wala pang masyadong community na, na matatanungan ka. Wala pang masyadong freelancers din ako na friends. So, nangangapa talaga ako noon. So, I don't think um, talagang kung single ako mag-time ila. Pero nitong, nitong na-discover ko siya na married na ako at medyo kumapal, hindi kayo maniniwala, pero nung single ako, as in, hindi talaga makapalang pwes ko. As in, kinuwento ko to kay Holly, hindi siya naniniwala. Na talagang mahihain ako, nung single ako, hindi ako yung tipong makikipag-usap kahit kanino na hindi ko kilala. Hindi ako magsastart ng any conversation, conversation kung hindi ko Pero, nabago talaga yung, ano ko, yung pananaw ko sa boy, or siguro naging maging mas makapal na yung mukha ko nung naging nanay na ako, na kaya kong gawin para, para, La, uh, kahit ano para sa kanila. So yun, nung, nung nag-start ako mag-freelancing, siguro na, 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 nasa tamang panahon, na, na-mold ako mm-hmm. na parang, oh, kaya mo yan para sa mga bata, kakayanin mo yan. So iba yung motivation ko nung ano, um, ano na ako, nung um, may anak na ako at married na ako nung nag-dive into freelancing. Oh, so, yeah. may, ano, may, may nabanggit ka na, na na which reminded me, kasi I... Uh, I know somebody who, who is also single uh, nasa corporate siya ngayon and kinikwento ko sa kanya kung paano kung ano ang lifestyle ng ano ng freelancing paano ba ang freelancing so I was just encouraging him siya itong at ako sa insip ko parang ang dali lang ng gawain ang, ang dali lang ng, ng freelancing sa totoo lang kung, pero habang ini-explain ko sa kanya, sa kanya pala, bakit parang complicated ata? Ang hirap ata. Ganun ba ang, ganun ba ang freelancing? Ang hirap. Pero yun ang nasa isip niya. And uh, katulad nga nung sinabi mo, Anna, if, if yung mindset nitong single friend ko na single na ito, ganun din yung iniisip nung, ano nung single ka na. Hindi, hindi, hindi. So I guess that it, our mindset also changes when once we... Once we are married, once we have kids, iba talaga yung kakapal talaga ang mukha natin na who the hell cares? Basta if this is a, an opportunity, I should grab it and, ch- and try it out. Ano yun siguro ang mindset ng ano? Yeah, that's very, that's a, that's very interesting. Kayo, ladies and gen- gentlemen, what is your mindset? Kayo ba itong mga nahihiya pa rin? Kasi napansin ko pa sa ang mga posts sa, sa flip page natin, ano eh, marami pa rin nagsasabi na nahihiya or nag-i-struggle. Yung may hesitation pa rin, I bet you're single. So, <laughs> uh, so ang sagot yan, get married ata so, according to Anna. <laughs> so, eto, pasok ko na lang dito, connected tong tanong ni ano, ni Chuang Lumar. Ayan, ay, hmm. ano ba yan? Ayan. Question, how did you start being freelance, being a freelancer siguro? May tao bang nagturo sa inyo kung paano magsimula? Okay. Um, let's start with Jeff. What is your answer? Sa akin, wala eh. Wala nagturo sa akin kung paano magsimula. Uh, yung nakwento ko nga sa last interview ko with Miss A, na kita, or na nagkaroon na ako ng idea about freelancing. Nag-feast ako with uh, Sir Bo Sanchez. Tapos, yun nakilala ko nga si uh, Joe Mar Hilario and all that. Saka lang ako nagkaroon ng idea about freelancing. And Sariling kayod talaga. As in, nag-enroll ako sa VA Bootcamp, zero knowledge about freelancing. And then, dun lang ako nagkaroon ng idea. Ah, ito pala ang freelancing. And, and all that. So, ganun. Ganun ako nag-start. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, what about you, Rowlin? Uh, ako ay noon freelancing from my brother kasi he used to work sa isang real estate Ooh. VA agency. So, he referred me na mag-apply doon, but unfortunately, uh, hindi nag-work 
with the kind kasi I have problems with my internet. So, uh, my first attempt with some freelancing. And then, after that, yun, nung nag-fail na ako sa board exam, I uh, naghanap ako ng way. So, I search online kung paano ba talaga mag-freelance. And then, yun, nakita ko yung ad ni Jason. And then, there, na... Mas nagkaroon ng direction yung ano yung freelancing journey ko when I started the free VA course and then eventually I enrolled. So yun. Very good, Roland. Um I I I I like that. I can I can relate to what you said. But what about you, Jane? Anong uh anong sagot mo naman doon kay ano, Mr. Chong? Um nag-start ako ng freelancing. Ano lang, nakita ko lang nga sa Facebook yung ad ni Jason. So, that's where, yun yung nag-part din ako mag... Sorry. Excuse me. Hindi nang agaw ng camera. Ano? <laughs> Merong... Dun, dun, dun naglaro yung... yung ang tawag ito. Dun ako napapaisip na baka merong ibang career na pwede akong pumasok na para maalagaan tong batang to. So, nung nagbabasa ako sa Facebook, doon ko lang siya nakita. Tapos sabi ko, parang, parang totoong tao naman to. Hindi naman siya robot na automated yung mga sagot niya. Sagot. Mga sagot sa emails, ganyan. So, I tried. And then, that's where I learned na meron palang VA. Pagiging VA sa, I mean, meron palang freelancing sa, I mean, may career sa freelancing, which is VA, yung virtual assistant na. Kasi, total zero knowledge din ako noon that time. So, nung nakita ko yung mga tasks or yung mga skills na pwede with that job, sabi ko, pwede, pwede pala yun. Pwede pala yun sa akin. So, dun ko, dun ako nag-enroll. Inenroll ko yung sarili ko to learn more about it. And then, eventually, yun, Maganda nga, maganda naman pala yung kahinat na yung pinag-enroll ko na yun. So, yun, then nag-start. Doon lang ako nag-start. I love that. I love that. So, at least, ano, um, ang kagandahan is you, you, uh, whether you discovered freelancing by yourself or not, meron, at, uh, meron pa rin nag-guide sa inyo. So, that is very nice. I love that. Uh, what about you, Anna? Ikaw, Anna, complex ang freelancing journey mo eh. Yeah, go ahead. Share your story. Yeah, ako, ako din like Rollin. Brother ko din ang nag-introduce sa akin. 2015 pa siya actually din. Gumawa ako ng upwork profile ko on my own. Tapos nagtatry mag-apply-apply. Pero talagang ano, parang doon ako nag-start na nahihirapan na kaya parang pinabayaan ko lang siya. Tapos when... Uh, nag 2016 ayun yung nagkaroon na kami ng financial problem tapos um, talagang gusto ko na rin talagang matutukan yung mga bata kasi apat na sila noon so yun doon ko na discover din yung ano VA bootcamp no WFHR pa lang dati so yun um nagtry ako ng ano mag free VA course muna noon and then um, later on yung brother ko na nagsabi sa akin na ano na may upwork at pwedeng mag apply apply um ng work online siya rin yung nag-enroll sa akin. So, parang nakwento ko na to many times. Pero yun nga, um, parang pagka nag-dive in ka kasi sa isang bagay, or ano, dapat may nag-guide or may nag-mentor sa'yo. Kasi parang ang hirap din talaga. Like yung sabi nga ni, ni ano kanina, ni sino ay nagtanong? Si, Ch- si Nomar, na parang nahirapan daw siya kasi mag-isa lang siya. So, yun, with uh, VA Bootcamp, mas um, na, nag-guidean ako at nakahanap ako ng kagaya ko na mapagtatanungan na nag-beginner. So, yun. Um, nag-guide, nag-guide ako with the, the help of um, Jason. And that's the start ako na. Na talaga namang nagkaroon ng result then immediately after um, taking the course for ilang days lang. So, yun. yun yung, ano, uh, uh, nice. Um, oo, kasi maalala ko, Anna, you tried freelancing without um, guiding guide from Jason, right? You tried it before and then parang nahirapan ka and then puti na lang nahanapan mo si Jason and yeah Jason taught you some 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 of the tricks and there you go here you are now the principal yan ang, yan ang ano I, I I love all your stories ang ako nga lang kasi ad it, it was entirely different kasi nung panahon ko naman nung time na ako itong uh, 
tinitingnan ko pa lang ang freelancing nung hindi ko pa alam ang freelancing. There was no Jason Dulay. There was no community. Absolutely none. There was no community. This was the earlier years of Odesk pa lang. Ang parang may nagbigay lang sa akin kasi kauuwi ko nga from from abroad. Kauuwi ko lang and I had nothing to do. I don't I don't have any direction to go. Parang may nagbanggit lang sa akin na uh, you know that you know you can work online, right? Parang may may nagbanggit lang sa akin ng ganun. So that's the time na pumunta, pumunta ako sa Google, nag-research ako. Do people really work online? How do you work online? And what are the uh, uh, where should you go if you want to work online? Ah, meron pa also oh, Odesk pala ang pinaka strongest na ano na Odesk and Elance, uh, ang strongest na uh, na work uh, freelancing platform. Okay, let me tapos tinignan ko uh, Elance versus Ode, uh, Odesk. And then nalaman ko na Odesk was the best during that time. Nung hindi pa niya binili ang ang Elans, so don na paano paano ako papasok sa sa Odesk? Ay nung pagpasok ko sa Odesk, ay ganito pala ang itsura ng Odesk. Okay, what what am I going to do next? Ganon, bale trial and error ang nangyari sa akin. Kasi walang ang guide. Nobody was there for to help me even just a bit. So when it comes to research, so I had to read something and then Google, read something and then Google, read something and then Google. So this is the thing about the VA bootcamp. Eh? Um, although I was I wasn't a student of VA bootcamp, I saw what what VA bootcamp can give you. To me, it took me like six months, one year before masasabi ko na yes, I'm a full fledged freelancer na alam ko ang ginagawa ko. All those time. Pwedeng i-decrease ng VA bootcamp from one month to three months. After that, yung natutunan, yung lahat ng na-research ko within one year, malalaman mo within one month or, th or three. That is what VA bootcamp is gonna give you. It's the time. Pero kung, kung gusto mong maging, if you want to go through the journey of freelancing na ganito nga, yung nagtatanong-tanong lang tayo, you need to sacrifice your time. You can't say, uh, lahat talaga may, may kapalit. So if you if you think that you can survive without the VA bootcamp, it is it is okay. Many people do, didn't have to enroll in VA bootcamp, and they are successful right now. Many people are out there. Pero ano, what Jason is offering is to save you time. Kasi and daming mga misinformation sa internet. Don't ako nag struggle eh. Kasi it's not as simple as you see Upwork. And then magli research ka, and then you're given the the right information. Hindi, it, especially nowadays na marami na na ko control sa um, results sa Google search. It's not as simple as that. There's so many misinformation out there. Iyon ang mga ifi filter out ng VA bootcamp. So speaking of that, do you have anything to promote, Jeff? Uh, sa ngayon wala mo na. Makatimitap, Jeff. Ah, uh, makati meet up, yes. O nga pala, see you, see you this July 27 uh, sa Jollibee Pure Gold ata kami. Uh, makati. Birthday party ni Jollibee. Kaya nga eh. Um, so we are inviting okay. you and we have our special guest, si Miss A. <laughs> Ay, ako pa na. Ako pa lang special guest. <laughs> Tapos, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, Sa mga ka-workmates ko na naiingan nyo na rin sa freelancing, I invite you to join me in my <laughs> freelancing world. Oo, madaming mga ano, affiliate yan. Uh, si Bernadette, yung ka, ka classmate ko ng high school na freelancer na rin ngayon at nag-enroll na sa VA Bootcamp. Wow! Welcome to the panic. <laughs> Tapos sa lahat, sa lahat sa inyo na gusto nyo maging virtual assistant uh, or maging freelancer, uh, it will always starts with your decision. Kaila uh, decision mo na mag uh, dive into freelancing. No questions asked. Kasi kung magpapapilit ka pa or parang kung meron ka pang inaantay na sitwasyon, it will never come. Kasi sabi sa inyo, you need to decide now and live the tale. And live to tell the tale. Parang Aladdin lang eh. <laughs> Ganun. Yun, yun lang yun. <laughs> A whole new world, kumbagat. Exactly. <laughs> I I love that. Pagkasundo, magkasundo tayo, Jeff, for sure. Kasi ano, kung ganyan ang, kung ganyan ang ano, pag-iisip mo, magkasundo tayo. Kasi ganyan din ako mag-ano. Only, you're a bit nicer. 
Kaya, go. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jane? Si Jane naman. Um, anything you want to promote? Um, and what advice can you give to the newbies? Um, wala naman ako ipapromote. Pero, <laughs> tama yung advice ni, ni TJ na if wag niyo kong gayahin na two years ko siyang hinintay. Two years ako nagko-contemplate. And, Parang ang um, nanya parang you just need to decide and, and act now before before pa tumagal at madule ng super super tagal yung yung gusto nyo mangyari so you cannot you cannot know anything hindi mo malalaman if hindi mo susubukan yun yung parang take na lang natin na Kung gusto mo siya, subukan mo. Huwag mo nang intayin na may yun nga, huwag mo nang intayin na may mangyari or or just go with it. If you really want it, if you've made up your mind about it, then just do it. Parang wala nang if you really like, if you really want it, no one could stop you. So just decide now, act on it and just just see what what will any uh, kung saan ka dadalhin. Parang ganun. Yeah. I love that. Thank you, I love that. Uh, at least, ano, um, I like na ano, uh, the ginamit mo ang experience mo sa sa pagbigay ng advice. And I think, ano, um, you should, uh, nobody should be ashamed uh, na naghesitate sila. Just like you, Jane, nagantay ka ng two years. That nobody should be ashamed. So that that really is how your life worked. And Ganun talaga ang takbo ng isip. Karamihan lang talaga kasi once na pumasok sila sa freelancing and they, they always ayang should I have known this earlier? Alos lahat ng freelancers, yun ang sinasabi, should I have known this earlier? So, uh, do not be ashamed of your history if it took you like five years to realize that you want to go into freelancing. It, that's, just, that's okay. That's just how life works. Talaga. But yeah, according to Jane and Jeff, as of now, as much as possible, we're gonna hesitate kasi zong gabag muna. What about you, Roland? Yeah, siguro additional lang sa sinabi ni Jane and ni, ano, ni Jeff. Uh, you have to assess yourself and uh, you have to act fast and you have to be ready talaga in all aspects. Physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and financially. And uh, you also have to determine if this is something that you really wanted to do. Because um, in freelancing, you, ha you have to have a self-discipline. So determine mo if this is, um, and know your emotional wise. So, and then uh, you have to, Check the state of your finances. Make sure that you have enough savings to uh, uh, in, to cover your expenses and bills. And um, also find a support group like uh, Flip Freelancers in the Philippines by Jason Dulay, something like that. And yeah, uh, I have to promote something. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the VA Bootcamp students, please do watch my webinar in the VA Bootcamp students group on May 31 entitled Learn Practical Steps on How to Become a Financially Wiser a what financially wise freelancer in the next yeah. <laughs> yeah so not come is a <laughs> uh, uh, no, and no, no. yes on uh double meet up uh on june uh pero to be uh, pa, to be announced mm -hmm. by okay. lj okay. so announced yes yeah. 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 Very nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do encourage you to check it out. Uh, especially, I, this is strictly for, for the VA Bootcamp students, right? Students, yes. Yes. So, the loob lang yan. Go ahead. So, kaya mga students, you have to keep watching that. Go ahead, Jeff. Ay, naman pala. Speaking of which, si Rowlin, di ba, meron siyang parang Free webinar for uh, VA Bootcamp. Uh, ito naman is for Tambahay Session, our page ni uh, Marisa. Marisa. We're actually opening the Tambahay Session for one month. We're going specific tips on how to change your mindset from a corporate or employee mindset to a freelancer mindset. So abangan mm -hmm. niyan. It's a 30-day uh, everyday mm -hmm. tips 
on how to change your mindset. Yun, yun, yun lang. <laughs> wow. Every day, ha? Daily? Kaya nyo yan? That's not okay. That... Yeah. Have the... Ako, hindi ko kaya yan. <laughs> hindi ko kaya yan. <laughs> More power to you. More power to you. Sana, sana dire-diretso yan. <laughs> yes. All right. Cool. Anna. Eto na, eto na. Kailangan daw lively. Teka lang. <laughs> Slide show muna ako at na sisness na ano, nakita nung nakaraan na hindi naka full, naka full screen ba? Nakikita niyo sa ano yan, sa screen yes. ba? Full screen yes. bang aking slides? Yeah. Yeah. Ayan. Okay. Ayun, okay. So eto na. On Wednesday, um interview with Hasmin Doma, how a chicken. Chicken ba si Doma? Kasi <laughs> how a chicken started her journey to freelancing. Bahala ba't walang time? Ano ko, walang time yung slides ko. Pero I'm sure Wednesday ito, 5 p.m., um, watch nyo to see Hasmin Doma. Um, interviewin ko siya on Wednesday. Share niya yung story niya kung paano niya na, um, na, 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 paano niya na, simula. kinaya. <laughs> hindi na, uh, nag-jump it, nagsimula, na hindi, na, una natatakot siya, pero um, nakapagsimula siya to freelancing. Her journey to freelancing, yung share niya sa atin yan on Wednesday. And uh, um, speaking of meetups, meron din yung day ulit na. Yeah, isang manok. Um, on June 16, Sunday, 4 p.m. sa Excel Hub, sa ano to, Angeles, Pampanga. So, um, attend kayo ng mga meetups natin, um, lalo na kung newbie kayo. Marami kayong matututunan dito sa mga meetups. So, join na. So, ayun, kung kayo ay um, nag-iisa, nalulungkot, nalulungkot, Join na kayo sa freelancers in the Philippines na ano natin, na group. Um, dito niyo matututunan ng ano ang ang, ang kung paano mag-start ng freelancing. Marami tayong helpful blogs, uh, marami tayong mga different um mga bakit na parang nawawala sa ko. Marami tayong mga threads na helpful dito na matututunan matututunan niyo kung paano mag-start ng freelancing. And you can also follow us at IGVA IG account. So, um, yun nga, as kaninang mention, diretso ko na rin yung um, nag-start kaming lahat halos, uh, ako lang pala, and si Jane yata, on a free VA course. So, ito nakatulong sa amin on our journey. And then, um, kung naghahanap naman kayo ng talagang mag-guide sa inyo, yung sabi nga ni Phoenix, hindi kayo um, hindi nyo kailangan mag-aksaya ng oras para mag-search. Ito, naka-outline na parang sa inyo kung paano nyo matututunan ng mga VA skills. Um, enroll na kayo sa vmbootcamp.ph. Marami kaming um, mga mentors dyan and meron tayong face, uh, student group which um, nagbibigay ng support sa inyo para talagang matutunan nyo kung paano makapaghanap na ng client and gumawa ng film file. It is it. Yan. So, ladies and gentlemen, when is the best time to dive into freelancing? That is the question. Um, as you can see, magkakaiba ang sitwasyon natin. So, lahat, ito, katulad ni Jeff, si Rollin, si Jane, si Anna, ako, we all dove into freelancing differently. And maraming mga, magkakaiba rin ang triggers namin kung bakit kami nagkaroon ng eureka moment to say, okay, talagang papasukin ko lang ano ang freelancing. So it really is up to you. You need to look into yourself, tignan mo if you are really ready. Si Jeff, uh, he had this challenge na pa pa paano niya i-juggle ang freelancing and corporate kasi gusto, at that time gusto niyang pagsabayin. And the thing is, ang maganda sa, sa experience niya, si freelancing ang pinag-adjust niya. Si freelancing ang nagbigay ng better offer. So it was freelancing that adjusted for for his situation. Kay Rollin naman, um, she she just had to, kasi wala na siyang choice, wala nang wala nang ibang better options out there. So again, it is freelancing that gave her this option na uh, okay na nga ang pay, which is her battle between the 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 two options na pwede siya papasok sa bank or babalik siya sa corporate, and at the same time okay din ang oras. Again, it is freelancing that what that adjusted para sa lifestyle mo. The same thing with Jane. With Jane, it took her uh, quite a while before na nasabi niya na papasukin niya yan. And that is also okay. 
kasi at that time, marami ka pang iniisip. And it is by nature na mag-hesitate, mag-hesitate ka talaga kapag hindi hindi mo pa alam, marami ka pang hindi alam na nangyayari sa freelancing. And that is okay. But it's a good thing na pumasok pa rin siya which is, sa freelancing, which is the most important thing. Si Anna naman, she went into freelancing, um, introduced by her brother, pag minsan ganyan din. Pero at that time, medyo ang, ang hirap kasi ang dami pang mga dapat na asikasuin as a, uh, as a mother. So again, to you, ladies and gentlemen, it really is up to you. Meron talaga at meron yung ganyan na darating yung panahon na ikaw mismo itong magde-decide. But to me, my adv- the, the advice that I can give you is if you start com- contemplating, if you start thinking about it, then that is the time. If pag, sina- pag iniisip mo na uh, mag-full-time na kaya ako sa freelancing, pag iniisip mo na, na ganun, then it means to say you're already 70% there. All you need to do is to say yes. Okay? So thank you very much for coming today. I hope to see you again next week. Hindi na ako may Bye! Bye! Thank you! Thank you! Bye! Sorry guys, ha. hindi ko